some things that never really occurred to me because I thought it was something everybody did. It's um being able to swim and also the fact that people do take lessons but they're bad at it. So I know how to swim and I don't I know how to like I'm not afraid to go in the water. I'm afraid to go with people who don't know how to swim in the water, especially if it's like a non regulated environment who aren't willing to like get along well with others. So like you know when people have grades at school and it's like there's a section on the report card that says how long how well do they get along with others? If they had a failure in that, then I'm not going swimming with that person. Uh-uh. Also the fact that people can't read sheet music or music scores. Or the fact that people don't understand classical music theory. I don't, like even I've heard people who even like play for as long as I do and they're really bad at it and I was like, how are you so like why are you like this? Why do you play like that? That's so terrible. What kind of piano teacher did you have? And most of the time they had better teachers than me and I'm like, how are you so awful even though like you know, you shouldn't be. <laughs> What's going on there? Um, also, the fact that people didn't play, um, I played two instruments, like I played violin and piano, and it never occurred to me that people didn't play violin and piano, that people don't know how to swim, they don't know how to work, go horseback riding, they don't know what horseback riding is, they can't play tennis, never, they never played like, um, uh, soccer, they're bad in soccer, um, they can't drive, they know nothing about cars, even though they drive, which is weird to me. Um, they can't cook, they can't clean, um, they don't know what dry cleaners are. Um, they don't know, like, I'm just like, I'm baffled because it's like some of these people have own businesses in Canada. And I'm like, you never passed high school math, but you're going to open up a business and things are going to go well. I just, I don't know if that's a good idea. Not that you can, but maybe like get that done first and then you can get a job working for a dry cleaner. You know, that, that might be more like productive to you. Like more, it might actually help you get longer further than you trying to attempt to do something that you're not very qualified for. They put all of their resources online, right? And they're like, yeah, I can do this. And I'm like, I'm not saying you can't do that. All I'm really saying is that um, maybe, like, not the best idea. Maybe. Not the best idea. You know, it's not for everyone. Not that people can't do it. Not like, I don't know how to say it. I don't want to, like, I don't want to call them stupid. Because they're just going to, like, get really defensive because stupid people always get really defensive and call them stupid. Literally, that's how you know if that person is stupid. You see them do something stupid, you call them stupid for it, and they get super defensive. It's a stupid person. Yeah, so those are things that never occurred to me. Um, the fact that people dropped out of high school, dropped out of elementary school, got bad grades in high school. They never went to university. Um, they never had a job before. Literally, like in their teen years, they never had a part-time job. Um, what else? Um, they've never went clubbing. They've never went to a bar. They've never met anyone that wasn't already friends with somebody they knew. Which is retarded. That's what retards do. That's how you know if that person's retarded. They only want to meet people and want to get to know people that their friends already are friends with. I'm just like, what? They're, to them, that's their inner circle and everyone else is a stranger and everyone else is an enemy that's a stranger. So all strangers are enemies and everybody's a stranger that they are not friends with and their friends all know, don't know. And I'm like, that is literally the stupidest thing I've ever seen. People think like that and like they're literally insane. And they're retarded, so I was like, wow, it's like a triple threat. <sighs> hmm. 
But yeah, I'm just like, how do you like live life? Like you're not like, are you just a vegetable? You just sit there and consume energy and just vegetate, <laughs> like a couch potato. You never go outside. You never like meet new people. Just, just gonna stay home and just, you know stew in your own juices all day. All right. But I'm fine if people are like them. They're like, you don't even get me to do anything else. But the people in Canada, like not people in Canada, like Canadians, they're like, they do that, and they're like, um, what else is it? What else do do? Uh, they're like that, and they like, they like to like expect special treatment. Like they're like, I know I'm a piece of shit, but. You have to treat me like I'm a decent human being, like that, because they have narcissism. But that's being narcissistic. They have narcissistic personality disorder. Or they be they believe that they just expect and are entitled. Not they are entitled. This is what they believe. They be they are entitled to special treatment because they exist and they're just as good as anyone else, if not better. And the only people that are willing to be friends with them are people who have as much money as them or amount of money that they want to have so like rich people good-looking people celebrities friends only anyone else is not that they don't deserve to be my friend I don't deserve to treat them nicely like I don't like they don't deserve me being nice to them they don't deserve me um, treating them like a person because they're not a person because they don't have money because then I can't use them for their money and their house and they're like celebrity status and all that kind of stuff like I can't get into clubs I can't like get people like you know acquainted with each other like they'll only want to be friends with me if I know these people and I know people want to be friends with me and I'll know a lot of people that way and that way I'll have social influence but if you are somebody that doesn't know that and if you're somebody that's like doesn't have a lot of money so you can't buy me things and it doesn't have like you don't know a lot of people so like you can't like you know you can't like actually like introduce me to anyone in the area or take me out to fun places because you need to treat me all the time, right? Because like I'm, I'm entitled to the money that you're earning on your own. You know, that's the money that you're supposed to be spending on me. Even though I have nothing to do with it, that's narcissistic personality disorder. Everything that you own is supposed to be shared or with my, with me. Okay, like if you earn like five hundred dollars, like half of that should be you spending that on me. That's the only reason I even talk to you because you have five hundred dollars more than I have, and I want you to spend that all on me because I need things. Okay, who cares about you? Like I need you to spend all that money on me because I want new purses, I want new clothes, I want this, I want that. Um, I need you to be friends with me because you're good looking, and I need to look good in front of other people. Okay, I don't really care about you, but the fact that you're good looking is good enough for me, and that's all I really want. Is for you to be good looking, and that uh, if you're good looking, other people will be attracted to you, and then I can like find out other good looking people or people who, you know, might actually spend money on me that way. You know, that's why I also want to be talking to you. Like, that's the only, you know what? Everything that you own is actually technically mine. You know that? Because, like, you know, because I exist, like, obviously, everything, I had something to do with that. I swear. Yeah, that's narcissistic personality disorder. I fucking hate it. Like, I think they're stupid and they're insane. And, like, they don't know how to do anything right. And they're always in debt. And they always mooch off other people. And they don't know that. They think they're paying for themselves. They're like, yeah, I have my friend here. Um, He's going to foot the bill, so I'm paying for myself. And I'm like, how is that paying for yourself? Like, you must be a crazy person. That's what I'm thinking. And, like, a bunch of people, like, they just, like, oh, that guy's really famous. Like, that's the only reason I want to talk to him. Because, like, if I'm friends with somebody who's famous, and they'll all know me, too. Or, like, they're, like, um, oh, you know what? Like, that guy is, like, um, knows a lot of things. Like, he can probably teach me. Like, let's just talk to him so he can teach me things. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm talking to you. So you can, like, tell me everything that you know. You know? Like, you have to tell me every single thing that you know and, like, teach me how to be a person and teach me how to do things and how to get to places because I'm entitled to that information. Like, you have to be friends with me because of that. Like, I want those things. I want to know those things. And you have to be friends with me for it. I'm not going to pay you, obviously, because I exist and you should be thankful that I'm even talking to you, even though I'm the one that needs something from you. 
Yeah, that's narcissistic personality disorder. I thought, like, honestly, th I thought that was a joke because I see it on TV all the time and people make fun of those people all the time. It is a joke, but I don't understand why people think that, like, I don't know. Like, there's people who work in the government in Canada that are like that. Like, oh, you only make, like, less money than me? I'm not going to be friends with you. What's the, what's the point? You know, like, what's, you, what's your use? Like, why would I ever, like, want to do that? You know, and I'm like, oh my god. That's so annoying! It's like, can you, like, go see a doctor already? Like, I don't want to sit here and listen to you complain about how you're pathetic. You know, oh, look at me, I'm so pathetic, I don't know how to do anything, and I, I just, I want to seem like I know things and I can do things, and I want to look like I have self-esteem and I'm, like, really secure in myself and my progress in life and the fact that I can get things done. That, um, I don't need other people's approval or other people's, like, to worship me in order for, in order for me to be functional. Like, I don't need that kind of stuff. You know, I'm just like, yeah, people realize this when they're, like, 11, I think, 10, 11. They're like, yeah, I don't really need, like, all my, like, I don't need everybody in my class to like me. I don't need all my friends to even like everything that I'm doing. Like, it's fine. Like, I don't know. Sometimes we like to do the same stuff together. But, like, you know, we all like different things because we're different people. Like, kids know that, right? It's like, how are you an adult and you don't understand this? It's just weird. I think it's super weird. I'm just like, okay, so, like, how are you an adult? Like, you're telling me that, like, you don't understand any of this kind of stuff, but, like, it's like, how are you, like, an adult if you're, like, you know, you're like, oh, you don't understand, like, how people function or, like, how people socialize. It's just, this is weird. You know? Yeah, it's weird.